Rick Pitino is out of a job, at least for now. The University of Louisville has placed men's basketball head coach Rick Pitino on unpaid administrative leave after FBI allegations that coaches within the program participated in a scheme to pay recruits families in exchange for commitments to pay, I mean play, sorry, for the university. Mike, do you think that Louisville kept Pitino on too long and what do you think is the fallout from this investigation? A huge fallout. To answer the first question, absolutely they kept him on, Keisha. This has been just disgraceful, the way that this university has carried this on. This is not one issue where it just come out with this FBI investigation. In this show, we've reported numerous instances going back over the past couple of years now with the escort scandal that they had and, of course, the NCAA violations that were issued earlier this year. Uh, there's no question about it that Louisville should have sat down with Rick Pitino and tried to come up with some type of solution to everything that was going on. And let's be honest, they should have pushed him out the door. Everything that's happened right now, this is just a complete mess. Another fallout from this situation, without a doubt, is Rick Pitino's legacy. This is one of the most prominent basketball coaches going back for the last 25, 30 years or so. And what he's done here with Louisville, I mean, this is just, to me, there's no excuse for it. I think as far as the NCAA is concerned, one of the other fallouts that this is going to lead to is a lot of other investigations that haven't necessarily come to surface yet, but other schools where they're really going to have to start cracking down as to how these AAU coaches and these sneaker companies are involved with these basketball programs, and specifically these high school athletes. I mean, we can go on and on about this, but... Everything that's happened with Louisville and Rick Pitino, it just makes you, it, it really just puts a bad taste in everybody's mouth. Well, I'm just going to slightly disagree with you because I'm a firm believer in second chances. So I don't think that they kept him on a little too long, but this was definitely the, fi the final straw. And I think this is really the right move for Louisville because you can't have scandal after scandal marring the university and its reputation. So Rick Pitino is definitely um, right now on leave, but I think it's just one step out of the door. And the fallout is going to be huge because this is going to uncover more schools. As the accused are being rounded up by the FBI and they start singing, there are going to be more and more schools, perhaps other individuals in the sneakers, in the sneaker companies that are going to be exposed. So. Um, I'm just hoping that my, my school is not caught up in anything <laughs> illicit. I, I have faith in Coach K. Um, and then also, I think that this might be the impetus to have some sort of reform in, when it comes to co uh, high school and college and the NBA because right now, the way the system is, it's a breeding ground for stuff like this to happen. These high school athletes, most do not come from wealthy backgrounds or middle class. And when you start throwing money at them, their families, the family friends, it's very tempting to take it because I remember when um, Laramie Tunsil, the football draftee who got in tr into trouble for accepting money, while he was in college, one of the things that he asked for was money for the electric bill. So this is a l life, real life for some people. So the way, when you keep people from earning money by telling them you have to go to college in order to get to the NBA, to get to the contracts, then, you know, there's a year of what am I going to do? How is my family going to survive that the NCAA has not addressed and the NBA, you know, hasn't addressed either. So I think there might be some reform. It's going to be a battle because if you start telling the kids they can go from high school to the NBA, where does that leave the NCAA? Does that affect their pocket. So it's it's gonna be it's gonna be very, very interesting and I'd really be surprised if there wasn't any kind of reform instituted. Absolutely.